Yo, so what's going on, guys? It is Pwn, and I just am so excited today to share with you guys some of the best news that I have ever had in my life. I'm so excited for this in a, a very unusual fashion. I'm not talking like pants tight excited, but proud, pride. It's, it's so many emotions flowing through me right now. And I've been waiting, I've been jonesing, trying to tell you guys about this news forever. But in case you guys are curious about the gameplay, playing a little bit of Call of Duty 4, this is one of those awkward gameplays where you suck at sniping, but for some other reason, knifing works out. You guys are going to see exactly what I'm talking about. I choke on a fat one on this one. But anyways, without further ado, I told you guys a couple days ago that me and Amanda, my wife, currently found out what the sex of our baby is going to be, you know, and I, and I made a video where I had you guys, you know, guess and bet and do whatever you wanted to do, you know, I, like, oh, girl, boy, or squid, and, you know, I was excited for squid, and guess who got it right, guys? I did. Yeah, we got a squid on the way, guys. <laughs> you guys are random. I hate you guys. Just kidding. I love your face. So, uh, and it's, it's crazy, because then it started making me think about all these random things, and I started to think to myself that, you know, is it, is it going to be a boy squid? Is, is it going to be a girl squid? You guys are probably like, Pwn, shut the fuck up and tell us what it is. All right, guys. It's a boy. That's right. We are, have confirmed that we are going to have a Pwn Star Jr. That's right. Somebody to carry on the badassery and the pervertedness and the gameplays and all the YouTube fame. And it was great. You know, the night we found out, uh, it was great. The talks that we had, we were talking about, you know, how it's going to roll over. And um, I tweeted about a few things, actually. My my wife, you know, we just get out, and I said something goofy leaving the restaurant we were at. We went to Red Robin. Yum. Yeah, we went there, and um, we left out, and she said, oh, I hope, our, I hope our son's as funny as you are. And I'm like, I don't. She looked at me like, like I just insulted them. And I'm like, she looked at me, she's like, ah. She didn't even ask why. She was just kind of startled, like I said, I hope my kid. Like I, like I insulted him, like hoping he was going to be stupid or something. And... And I look at it and I'm like, if he's funny, I'm going to be out of a job. <laughs> My YouTube career is going to be messed up. He's going to double me in subs in two months. It's not right. And I don't know. It's, it's a great thing. It's a blessing. It's amazing. I mean, the, the emotions that went through me and everything felt worth it at the opportunity, at, at the moment that I was watching that little screen. And it was challenging because he did not. I, I don't know if it's my kid or not because he would not show off the danger. He wouldn't. He he sat there, he cross-legged the whole time. And it was difficult because we were sitting there and we're sitting there for like 10 minutes trying to find the penis, which is the most awkward thing ever. Awkward thing ever. I mean, how many people could say that you sat there looking at a screen for 10 minutes looking for a penis? And I've never done that in my life. In most situations, that would be a disturbing thing to say. And I, for one, was... I was ready, man. My reaction time, my video game, everything helped me. And uh, <laughs> it was so awkward because it was it was weird because you don't know. I mean, if you don't find one, obviously it's a girl. You know, the package is not going to be there. But we were looking, and the kid was being crazy. You know, every time we tried to shake and move the baby to make it roll over and open its legs, it would just turn its back to us. It was like, nah, I'm cold. Get a fuck away. Did not want to just go ahead and show us the goods. It makes me just wonder why it's so shy and insecure, you little baby. But I absolutely, I absolutely love the adventure. Um... It took us about six, seven minutes until the baby even started to move a little bit. And at this one moment, I saw it, and nobody else did. The doctor's like, that wasn't it. I'm like, that's it. You see it? It was like nine foot long. Yeah, it definitely takes after me. And <laughs> so we sat forever trying to, to locate the baby peen, and we couldn't find it. So about seven minutes in, uh, we see a little glimpse of something, and the... Uh, the ultrasound lady's like, hey, it might be a boy. I'm pretty sure I just saw a little danger there. And I'm like, okay, well, that's cool. That makes me feel good. And she gives us this percentage, right? This, and she's like, I'm 80% sure it's a boy. And then like two minutes later, we see something else. She freezes it. And she's like, I think it's, I'm 90% sure it's a boy. Because you know she's not going to guaranteeingly go ahead 100% and say it's a boy. Because at the end of the day, I mean, anybody could be wrong. Something could have been seen the wrong way. Um... But, you know, the fact that I didn't get a, you know, definitive answer just kind of made me worry a little bit about, you know, whether or not it, it was a boy. And I'm still scared that it could be a girl. Not saying a girl is a bad thing, but, you know, when you had confirmation, you want it to be true. And I was excited for it. And you guys are curious about what the little boy is going to be named? His name is going to be Colton. Colton, indeed. Yep. Uh-huh. I know. Um, 
And it's it was truly a blessing. And I want to thank you guys for all the support. All this stuff is it's is made possible by you guys. Every time you guys watch these videos and support me and leave comments that you know encourage me to keep trying more, and you leave likes and favorites and just help my channel get out there, it truly is a blessing. And you guys have done so much to help me out. And I want to thank you guys because I wouldn't be comfortable or confident in myself to to do this without you guys. So. We have our own little YouTube baby on the way, guys, and, you know, you guys played a major part in that, so I wanted you guys to know that, that you've made a difference in my life and in my unborn son's life, and it's an absolutely amazing thing. So I want to thank you guys for all the support. Um, I can't wait to keep you up in the loop and keep uh, you guys with all the details. If I can, I'll try to get some uh, screenshots to put up on Twitter for you guys, but, you know, I'm absolutely loving this experience. Uh, I would expect that I'd be a little bit more scared, but... I'm not. I, I mean, I feel ready. I feel ready to do this. I feel like I'm going to clutch out, you know, like some crazy Moab right now. I'm just so ready to, to start this off and, you know, care for another one. It's a different level of responsibility. It's not like a fucking pet snail or something. This is an actual living, breathing child. It's a human being. And I got to get it out of its noob stage and just develop it into some MLG Pro and I've got a lot of work ahead of me, and I've absolutely loved every bit of this. And I want to thank you guys for all the support one more time. I want to say I love you to my wife because I know you guys are watching this. The whole family's watching this. So at the end of the day, look forward to baby Colton here soon. we got about four months to go, and we will hear its first cries. Therefore, you'll hear my cries. <laughs> so thanks again for all the support, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys were excited. You've been wanting to know a lot about my personal life. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Get it.